everyone, I'm JD from Willow Band Journals and today I have a new journal to share with you and this is such a sweet one. It is Hansel and Gretel made out of a little golden book and I've been looking for this particular book for quite a while now because I have seen the illustrations and I knew that I loved them. Here is the gingerbread house on the back cover and I was hoping I was going to put this on the front cover but it didn't quite fit and then in the end I did decide I wanted the two children, Hansel and Gretel, to be featured on the front anyway. So that is the cover. This is the title page, Pictures by Eloise Wilkins. And let's do a flip through. We've got a tag here that says this book belongs to, so you can write your name. And the story begins. Got some parchment paper, some ledger paper, and then the pages from the story uh, throughout the journal. We've got a gold foil bag page, another ledger page, some beautiful pattern paper, and then some of the pages, there were leftover pages, so I cut them up to turn into cute little pockets. So I wanted to make use of all of the gorgeous images in different ways. We've got interactive pocket pages, so we've got a sewn, pocket here and then just the lovely book pages throughout so a doily colored paper another beautiful uh, pattern paper here is a gorgeous large pocket this one is another interactive pocket page with these wonderful wildflowers and uh, like seed packets, thought they were so adorable. So that's an envelope pocket page, another ledger, sewing pocket page, and then this one's got a little gorgeous bag pocket with the strawberries. So I put little strawberries and things like the fruit and the veggies and the flowers because uh, it reminds me of what you might find in the forest or the woods. So here are Hansel and Gretel. And here as well, I love this little pocket page with the window or the door frame, framing the children in the background there. Feeding little birds, at the table eating. <laughs> so cute. Love, love those illustrations. So this one is available in my Etsy, if anyone is interested. Um, it's kind of similar to the previous two journals that I made, a child's the garden verse journals I think it was called something like that there were two of those um, but they've got very similar images very similar illustrations with the children so yeah I thought I'd make these those three journals together around the same time because they did kind of remind me of the same sort of vibe and so I kind of consider this one as part of that same collection <laughs> So yeah, that's Hansel and Gretel. Love that image at the back as well. And I thought this kind of reminded me of like the gate opening to the gingerbread house or like the cottage in the forest. And so I just tucked that in at the back as well. So that is the Hansel and Gretel journal. I hope that can be a special treasure for someone. Maybe someone really resonates with that fairy tale or that story or this book. Um, and yeah, I hope you can have fun filling it up and putting things into all of those pockets. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Um, and the link will be uh, down below in the description box to my Etsy where you can find this journal. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. A huge thank you to my beautiful patrons who supported me in the month of October. I appreciate you so much. You allow me to do what I do here on YouTube, making journals, teaching journaling courses and running workshops. If you would like to support Willowbound Journals, you can become a patron by clicking the link down below in the description box. Or you can also support my channel by becoming a member of my channel by clicking the join button. Uh, so that is where you get access to member videos and all patrons also get access to member videos over on my Patreon. Uh, patrons also get access to the journal making videos as well as printables each month and the Ruby patrons get access to every single printable kit in my Etsy. There are mail tiers as well where I send goodies to you in the mail. So hopefully there is something for everyone who would like to support Willowbound Journals.